Glory to God. Nice to have you again. Nice to be with you. Love you so much and I thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for being part of this channel, for sharing and for your likes, for the comments, for your, for your good heart. I say thank you very much and I love you and God bless you really good. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk to you about this continent of Africa, our continent of Africa. What is taking Africa backward? Why Africa is is busy going backward? Busy going backward. This is what I want to 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 say. I want to put, to reveal to you through this video. Okay, so I want to tell you that so many people or so many Africans, from because of the way things have gone, because of the way the pastors have. Uh, Mail the people, brainwash the people, downtrodden the people, molested the people, handicapped the people, hypnotized people, people are coming out and again, almost everybody is fake. So, so many people have lose hope. They have said, so many are saying, there is no God. So many people are saying it. So many Africans are saying it that. There is no God, but I, will, I but I'd not blame you, because when one when in a in a country, hundred preachers, hundred pastors, and every day you are coming to know that from one to ten to twenty to thirty to fifty to eighty is fake. Oh, you will you will you will you will begin to think you know is this you know what are we talking about you know you begin to ask yourself well, so that's why I said I did not blame anybody who say that uh, who is saying that there's no God so any Africans I didn't blame you but I think after I finish this video before the end of this video you will come out to understand something very very tangible something very important. Uh, it's man, it's man that we fail because we see what's going on in Africa today. A lot of pastors, a lot of fake pastors, a lot of uh, uh, people that call themselves man and woman and pastors and preachers. At the end of the day, all we are seeing is not nonsense, total nonsense. So it is a thing to sit down and rethink. Let me tell you something. There is God. Now let's go here. Let's let's go go like this. In the whole world, we there's what is called good and evil. Good and evil. And you, the Bible, I have gone through the Bible. The Bible, the word of God, which you no know, Bible we all know that is the word of God. Bible is, is the word of God. And the Bible is all about doing good, doing the right thing, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Bible totally condemn anything that is bad, that is evil. Now, nobody wants somebody to go and steal your money. Nobody wants to see another man come and sleep with the wife. Nobody wants to uh, 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 see. A citizen, you know, death in the, the streets or or, 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 or making shit, you know, you know, pouring shit on the street. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see a citizen going to take the documents and the, to forge it to, 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 to do people. Nobody supports that. Nobody supports, no country on the planet Earth supports lying, supports stealing, supports killing. All these things is what Bible is all against. Bible is all about doing good, doing the right thing. It's all about moral character. Now, the Westerners, they brought Bible to us, the Word of God. And in return, we all said to them that they should take, they should take our idols, idols away. They should take it away. They, they gave us the Word of God and they took the idols in the land of Africa, the way they took it to their own land and gave you the word of God, which means they want you to learn how to do the right thing, how to do, how to live a moral life. One thing I find out about Africans is that to live a moral life, a moral life is very hard 
for Africans. To live a truthful life is hard for Africans. To do the right thing is very hard for Africans. Africans so much love it when somebody's lying. Lying. Africans so much love it dirty. Africans so much love it rough. rough. Africans so much love it, love it dark when it is darkness. When everywhere, everywhere is darkness, they so much love it. When lies, they lies everywhere, there's so much light, you know, they, 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 they love it. When a corruption, bribery and corruption is going on, they so much love it. When by 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 and gossiping is going on, they so much love it. When their 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 is going hungry and naked and the home and the new house, you know, they so much love it. They love it like that. Now, Bible is all about Bible is against all these things. Bible said you should love your neighbor as you love yourself. Bible said that you shall know the truth and the truth is said to be free. Bible said that the devil is a liar and the father of all. All, all lies, you know, all, all liars. So, and the Bible said that, that Jesus is the light, and the light shineth in the darkness, and darkness can never comprehend it. But in Africa, listen now, lies everywhere, darkness everywhere. God, our God is not, there's no corruption in our God, but Africa so much love corruption. Now, darkness is of the devil, lies of the devil, corruption is of, is of the devil, stealing is of the devil. Bribery and corruption is of the devil. All the characters that Africans are portraying is the character that is from the evil one. From the evil one that the Bible warned us against. Why are you saying that, that there is no God? It is only hard for you to abort evil Africans. It is hard for you to abort evil. To do good is very hard for you Africans. To Holiness, righteousness is very hard for you Africans. So that's why the streets in Africa, in African con con no countries, are very dirty. So many of them, since are shouting up Nepal, there's no light. Many, many addicted themselves in lying. So many corruption, bribery and corruption. All these things is what is, what would have come bound. That the word of God, that the Westerners they brought to me and you, they brought to us for us to learn how to be a powerful nation, then for us to know, know, know the kind of life that we will live and become a powerful nation. Now, in the Western world, in Europe, where I live, if you lie, the highest, the highest thing you can do to a European is to, is, is, is to is for you to just to lie to them. They hate it. They hate it. What they hate is they hate you death in the street. If they catch you death in the street, you're in trouble. Because they make sure every way is neat. Every way is as 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 neat as. They hate it, they hate it when somebody is corrupt, living a corrupt life. They catch you, they put you in the system. Nothing for you. They hate it when somebody is living a dirty life. When somebody is living a, 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 a they hate it. When they see somebody crying that he doesn't have food to eat or he doesn't have clothes to put on or doesn't have a house, they will do everything to make sure that you stop crying. This is the life of the Europeans or Americans, the Western people, the Western world that brought the word of God to us. But the evil ones we know is devil. The evil way you know is devil that we say that we don't want, that our pastors say that they are preaching, that they are preaching to you, they are against. They, they caught themselves with that devil, that darkness. That's why the continent of Africa is still backward, is still filled with darkness, is still filled with all manner of evil. Killing is still going on. African continent is a carnivorous, Africa is a carnivorous continent. A cannibalist, a continent that is eating their citizens, that turn their citizens to be food. Why Europeans go out and hunt, go out there to go to other places and fight for their citizens to live a good and a comfortable life. This is this is the life of Westerners. Westerners can go to any length to see that they put food on the table of all their citizens. Anything, any, 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 anywhere in the world that that that, 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 that citizen travel to, 
and anything bad want to happen to that, they will they will go to any and they will they will answer they will they will answer to the cry to the call of their sin to make sure that they, that they they brought they bring him or her back to their country. But African people will, will tell example like Malaysia, like in Malaysia, it, how many of Nigerians have been killed every day in, in drug drug trafficking? When they call Nigeria or Ghana, they just no, they will just kill them and hang them. But other country, you know, you know, country in the Western world, we tell them return him home, send him back, so we can punish him or her. They will fight. They value the life of their citizen. As the preaching is going on in Africa, they gave us the Bible, but we turn even because that idol that we gave the Westerners that they took from us is what we all today, we all are enjoying. The best thing you can do, see, the Western world in Germany here, they don't carry Bible, they don't read Bible, they don't preach Bible, they don't preach in the streets, they don't, not, not like preaching or disturbing people, they don't go to church, they say, well, the way Africa are going, are going to church. But they, they, that word of God, they, they put it in inside of them. They, they preach it daily. You can never see them dead in their streets. They value their, they value their country so much. They can't lie to the authority. They so much, they hate it. They make sure that they, they get food for the for the season. They see you as a stranger. They will welcome you. They see orphans and widows. They, they they will have a house. They build a house for them. They will make sure that they give them some something to eat. They give them food. They give them the cotton. They give them shelter. This is all about the word of God. Taking care of the the orphans, the the, the, the widows, the the, the 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 needy the needy the helpless ones. This is all. Anywhere you come from, they will first of all welcome you, attend to you, give you food to eat, give you a place to, to, to put your head, head, to put your head, a shelter, give you a call to put on before any other thing. They don't they don't carry the Bible. Their country is moving forward. They know that they what they do when they do the right thing, that things will be okay. They keep on doing the right thing. They don't sit down, they are working, busy working, working. Knowing that God that God has created this world and and and, and put put them here for them to continue thinking of it, make, 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 make sure that things is going accordingly by what they are doing, doing the right thing. If everybody sit down in Europe here, read the Bible, read the Bible, and coming and, and coming come out to say God coming, God coming, there is no way they will be going ahead. You so see the way they are going now. But in their working places, everybody preach the word of God. You look at their life, they see you, they welcome you as one with them, they love you, they they they, they, they cherish you, they, they 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 will embrace you, no matter how Africans claim to say that they don't love them. I see them, they love me, I love them. They are practicalizing the word of God. But Africans, the same word of God they give to them is what they use to cover this that same idol. Idol. That those idols is what they are worshiping now in a modernized way. In a high standard of lying, brainwashing, hypnotizing, this deceitful way, in a high level of wickedness. Look at how Africans are dying in the, in the, in the high sea to escape from that continent. I call it cannibalous continent. Africa is a cannibalous continent, a continent that is eating their citizens. Now, you see, your pastors are doing the wrong thing. The only way is when Africans begin to hate evil, hate darkness, hate lying, hate deceit, hate bribery and corruption, hate killing, hate stealing, hate laziness. When Africa hates all these things, Africa will be, Africa, Africa will begin to march, begin to Go like pursue to pursue Europeans or, or, or Westerners because Africa is going very going backward, backward every day, and the Western Westerners, Western world are moving forward. The poor is the gap is too much because of the wickedness, because of the evil, because of the or, or because of the the, 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 the level of, of, of understanding. We understand things, we understand things awkward, backward. That's why that continent is going backward. Wickedness is too much in Africa. Can you continent? A continent, a, con a continent that is eating 
they are seizing as bread. Wickedness. Wickedness. The same idol is what you are hearing my voice right now in the internet. It's still the same, I, I, the same idol. Because the devil is a servant of God. That idol is Satan. And they break, when the Westerners or, 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 or Europeans or Americans, you know, when they brought those idols, they cage those idols and tell them, you are a servant. You are, you are a servant and have you must control servant. This is what they used to produce. This the computer, uh, 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 cameras, uh, TV, cars, uh, uh, aircraft, all these things that, uh, that all of you are using. They say that, they say that you are running away from Satan. But in your house, you have laptop, computer, TV, DVD. All these things are the idol, the idols that they took from you, that you gave to them, that you cannot control, that is strong, that is tormenting you. They, they brought it to their country, cage it, and command the Satan, command idols to begin to serve, serve mankind. And this is how it is. The devil is a servant of God. No matter how, anyway, anyhow I want to run, anyhow I want to transform himself, he remains the servant of God. And the Westerners understand you before you can, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can cage the devil. You must be stronger in the inside of you. You must be full of good in the inside. Your engine, your 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 engine, your 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 your, your mind, your heart must be sound and not sound. Nothing like fear. Then you can. You can arrest the devil and bind the devil and the devil begin to serve you, begin to serve your, your nation, serve your continent. Africa can, can cage the devil and send the devil on, 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 on errand. And the devil will be on errand in time. In time, in, 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 you will send the devil to go. How will he go? How will it happen? How can, uh, you know, Africans, will, you know, the, in a the highway, there is nothing like putting bridge that go high some of the road that is especially the one that goes to east this side is water this side is water there's no not nothing like nothing like a, 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 a bridge nothing like a, a bridge even in terms of going high but western world here they will they will make it in a very high that there's no way even if there's even if there's accident there's no way for the boss or the cat of the to fence at water they will block the devil block the devil when you are when you are full of good, you you you, you catch the devil, send him on on on, on errand on an errand. The devil begins to serve your servant. This is a continent that want to develop. The devil the devil begins to serve to serve that continent. Not that continent serving the devil in Nigeria. In Nigeria, they are serving the devil. In Ghana, they are serving the devil. In South Africa, they are serving the devil. In all our kind of, you know, countries, they are serving the devil. It's not the devil to be serving them. In heaven, the devil is a servant of God, and everything is peaceful. And when he don't want to serve again, God threw him out. On earth here, the Westerners still understand. When they build aircraft, they make sure that before you hear, how many times have you heard that international plane crashed? Even if it crashed, they must try to fix this, to know what is the cause, to stop it. Because they bring out the brand new, not like in Nigeria, they bring the one that is rotten, that is that, 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 that they don't want again. They bring it, they, they brought that down to Nigeria to come and carry people. Tomorrow, they when playing cars, they say, Oh, devil, oh, devil. But you are the one that 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 that, that give devil, that is having the devil. You are the one. It's of you to say, If you love your country, if you love your country, if you love your country, you give them the best. As the same way God loved me and you, I gave the best and still giving the best in the person of His Son Jesus, that is full of life, full of power, full of 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 of, of right of of, of life, righteousness, full of power, full of everything good. In the person of Jesus, is this the soundness in Jesus scares every devil. It's when someone that someone don't love you be giving you something that will kill you. In Nigeria, Nigeria as a, as a country, you will. Why won't the devil? Sucking blood. When the road are not okay, there is no good road. As then everywhere to show that they are serving the devil. They are serving the devil. But here, any scratch immediately they mount and make the, the, the whole roads are very smooth. The, the, the aircraft that that carry people brand new. 
cars, brand new, trains, everything can think about. The food that mankind is consuming, they probably check it. Not like in Nigeria, that where they are bringing, I'm using Nigeria because it's where I have seen things. They bring drugs, fake drugs, not even respired, fake ones. People are taking it and they are dying to show that they are serving the devil. So there is, there is God. Europeans doesn't carry Bible. They, 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 they write that word of God you know, on the tablet of the heart. The highest thing you can do is to write the word of God. Let good fill your heart. What's good fill your heart? You don't need Bible and losing anymore. You don't need to be run to any pastor. When we begin to vomit evil, vomit hatred, vomit by vomit, vomit hatred, vomit, vomit jealousy, vomit wickedness, vomit immorality, vomit violent corruption, vomit all this and say, go away from our continent. Hence, we, we will see, we have power over evil. You will not be afraid of anything. Bible said that a sinner is running when nobody is pursuing, which means when somebody is not doing the right thing, when somebody is not living a good life, when somebody is not doing, the, doing, doing something good, that person is, is full of fear. But somebody who is doing good is, is as bold as a life. But a righteous man, a righteous man is somebody who is doing the right thing, not somebody who is pursuing holiness outside, out, no, outwardly, but inwardly is weak, is full of darkness. No. Somebody who is thinking good of humanity, thinking, thinking good of the whole people, thinking good of the whole world, thinking of, or thinking of how to make this world a better place, you will be as sound, as sound as a brand new Boeing 767 aircraft, or you will be as sound as a brand new Mercedes G wagon. Latest. A heavy engine Rolls Royce, brand new. A righteous man is as more sound than these things I'm saying. So this is what I want to tell you. There is God, but God hates evil. If you want to see, it, if you if you want to begin to see the power of God, begin to flow in your life, and pour fresh wickedness out of you, and you begin to see God. Bible said. Who is there the, who will see God? Let me show you something in the book of so that you understand before I close this message. It's very important. The people that we always see God. For you Africans that have lost hope, saying that there's no God, there is God, there is God, there is God. But what is hindering God from coming to you is your sin. It's your sin. For God is not them that cannot hear. Now they have his hands on that cannot see. But your sin have hidden his eyes from you. Of course, God to hide his face from Africa. So I want to show you something. The people that to me, that the way that God will come close to, the people that God reveals himself, reveals his power to every time. I want to show you so that you don't lose hope. But you are the one that's that's scaring the good, scaring the power of God, the way scaring the good things from you. You don't need to be jumping up and down for any pastor. Sit down and do plus and minus. Get rid of those characters that you are doing, those characters that are doing, those bad things that are doing that's not, that's not of God, that's not good. You need to see a brighter new day. You need to see the power of God begin to flow. You need to see God, God begin to visit you. Once God hates sin, He loves sinners, but He wants them to he hate sin. He wants them to, he wanted to, he wanted to hate sin, to abhor sin, to, 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 to turn their, their lives. Say, Get out of my, my, my life. Once you say that, God will show Himself to you. I want to show you something quickly. If I, and this is very important. This message is very important for you to hear. I want to show you something the people that always. Okay. I want to show you something. It's important. In the book of Psalm 24, verse 3. Psalm 24, verse 3. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? I told you that the God of the Bible is a holy God. It's a righteous God. It's a God that loves people that, that, that does the right thing. Love people doing the wrong thing. So when you do the right thing, God answers you one, one touch. One touch. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up, lifted up, who has not lifted up 
he sold to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully. Deceit is one of the sins of Africa. I said to you that Africans are, Africans are, busy, are busy worshiping idols. That's why they are going backward. And one of the sins of Africa that is holding African bound is deceit. Africa always says something from their mouth, but their heart is saying a different thing. The only time, the, only, the people that God comes to, that people call, God draw near to and himself to, is people that speak the truth from the inner mind, from the inside of them, that speak the truth from, from deep down their hearts, is the people that God so much loves. And this is one thing I find out about Westerners. They, if they tell you yes, it's yes. If they tell you no, it's no. But Africans is okay, come by 11. But they know that they're they are going somewhere. They know that they are not going to be there. They will give you a voice, come by 11. When you come, and say, oh, okay, guy is not there. Oh, I love you. I love you. But they don't love you. They love your money, love your family. When they marry you, they begin to punish you. Europeans can never do that. The Western world cannot do that. Oh, uh, that business, I will, I will do it. Then that you bring the money, they take the money and run away. Doesn't do something, they don't do something that their yes is their yes and their no is no. And this is what holds Africa back. Africa is full of deceit, deceitful life. Deceitful life is holding Africa bound. You have just heard what I said right now, and I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that this word of God that you hear will change your life and transform your life and their situation forever and cause you Africans to abhor evil and wickedness and receive truth and receive a righteousness and receive a, 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 a Jesus, the word of life, and receive life and say no to death and, and say yes to righteousness and, and, and no to unrighteousness and say no to lies and yes and, and yes to truth and say yes, yes to light and no to darkness and say yes to justice and no to injustice. So this is my word to you and be blessed forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. If you love this word of God, go ahead and let other people hear it, share it to other people and say Africa need to change. Africa need to hear more of this. Share it to other people. Try to subscribe and 